Today we're doing something really, really fun and I am giving you a tour of my cozy boho home office. If you didn't hear, we actually moved a couple of months ago into an apartment into a suburb of Columbus out of downtown. And so I did a home office tour uh, maybe a few months back, but it was of my little home office space in our apartment. And since moving, now I literally have my own room for my home office instead of it being a part of our living room. So. I wanted to do an updated tour for you guys to show you everything and I will make sure in the description to link every single thing that I show you in this home office tour. So if there's anything that you want to grab for yourself, I will link as much as possible or a dupe if I can find it. And let's just go ahead and I'm gonna show you around my home office. All right guys, so I'm gonna walk you through this entire space and show you what everything is used for and give you a little rundown of my entire office. So when you first walk in to my office, you see my desk right here. We actually made this desk recently because I've always wanted a big desk like this and I couldn't find anything that wasn't crazy expensive. So I did make it myself and we'll link below actually a reel that I did where I recapped it and the supplies that I used to make this desk and all of those fun things. So I just love how this is laid out and I push it up against the wall just to kind of play off of kind of the funky edge right here, or funky corner of the wall right here that I also really, really love. And basically when you walk in, so you've got my desk, we have a mirror over here, we have a wall that I have dubbed the I don't really care as much about how it looks because it's more for brainstorming and business, things like that. And it gives me the freedom to have an area that's a little bit more for me to be creative with and for me to just brainstorm things and hang things up that are important to me and not have it look like super, super pretty. So we have a mirror right here, which I might actually end up getting a different mirror because I kind of sort of stole this from our bedroom. We kind of want it back in our bedroom eventually, but we'll see. And then I actually have this hanging light right here. If you notice, there's no light fixture like in the middle of the ceiling of this room. And so there's no overhead light automatically. And so what I did is I plugged it in. There's a cord running all the way over here and there's a light, one of the light switches here is controlled by this, so when I flip this on, the light comes on and it's super nice. I usually only turn this on in the evening when I am in here like getting ready or something because when you turn to the right, this door right here that is behind the door that I just came in is used for my closet. So this is where I keep all my clothes. I also keep some extra like camera gear, studio lights, filming gear, all of that in here. So super, super handy to have right there. We have Ember's dog bed right here. This is a Kularu if you're curious. She loves this bed. She's had it for like pretty much since she was a puppy and she is just obsessed with it. And we've got a few plants right here. This one is watering, so don't mind that it's a little wilty. We just got back from a trip. And there's a cactus and he is doing so good, you guys. Look at all this new growth on him. Like all that light green stuff is completely new. And then we have this cute little picture of when we live downtown with Ember. And then we have this laptop. This is my laptop where I get all the things done and I have it raised on this little laptop stand I got on Amazon. We'll link it down below too. And I absolutely love this because it's way better for posture and it helps my shoulders and my um, neck not to get so tight working on the computer. It helps with that a little bit and I have a mouse and a keyboard over here, I'll show you better in a second, that I use and it helps to keep better posture and so my shoulders don't hurt. I notice a huge difference if I don't have something like this. And then over here, I'll show you, I have this little dog mom plaque that I just love. I think I got it at Home Goods or TG Maxx. I have seen it there again recently, so if you keep checking there, you might find it. And then this lamp I actually got several years ago. Uh, I think it was from Target. Target has a bunch of uh, similar ones though that I'll link down below if I can find one. And then let's talk over here. So I get a lot of questions about this bookshelf and I actually, if you look back on some old home office tours that I've done, 
I actually, I used to have two of them, then we moved this time. One of them just completely broke, so they're not the best quality, but they are from Ikea. And it is super handy though, like to have down here, I have my, just a bunch of gear stuff that I use, but don't want it sending out. So like here is my charging station, and technically the other one had a hole in the back, so I could plug this in directly and have it always charging things like camera batteries and headphones and stuff like that. Right now, now it's not working right correctly because we haven't put a hole in the back here because honestly we'll probably trash this when we move next. So not really sure if that's ever going to happen, but if I need to charge something, I have it all right here, like all my cords to charge and all that I can pull it out and plug it in right here and just charge it right there. Below this are a few other things that I use regularly with my job, but I don't want sitting out. So like my ring light, my uh, iPhone tripod, I have a couple of extra mics in here, cords, stuff like that, just to have handy and it keeps it hidden so it looks a little more tidy. And then you'll see I have a bunch of baskets up and along here. So for example, this one is, cause right now my desk doesn't have any drawers or anything, like my last desk, this is kind of like my drawer of my desk. So I use it for like extra hard drives and cords, SD cards, things that I want handy. And I do use a lot of this quite a bit, but I don't need it like with me all of the time. I just have these set up here, extra glasses and stuff for filming today. Um, usually this is where my, camera that I'm using to film right now sets up right there. And this is a mic that I use when I'm filming like live videos on my computer. I just plug it directly into my computer. This is just a bunch of extra files, notebooks, stuff like that. These are a bunch of books. Most of them I haven't read yet. I keep those here. So I have them handy when I'm ready to pull out another book. This is a few other, I think I have some extra like cameras, lenses, stuff like that in here. Just other gear that I want handy, but don't want it like to stare at it all the time. And then this right here, this is actually, you put a candle in and you can see all the, like the light pu pouring through the little holes and it's so cute. I haven't really just found a very good spot to put it in this house or this apartment. So I'm not really sure where I'm gonna keep that. I'm just putting it up there for now. And then I have this plant, which actually Michael and I got this plant on our very first anniversary on a trip we went to Cincinnati and I love it and it's it's thriving, especially after living in our downtown apartment with all of the light. I'll put a picture here so you can see what I mean. Um, a lot of our plants were thriving and they are definitely adjusting, some of them not so well after moving um, into an apartment with still great windows, but definitely not just a wall of windows like it used to be. And this is my probably favorite plant of all time, my Monstera, and he is doing great. He just grew this new leaf and I love it. I actually have a few dead leaves down here, like little ones that I need to uh, pull off, which is totally normal, especially for the winter. But now that we're getting closer to spring, this guy could actually go outside. So I'll have to decide if I wanna keep him in here. He'll probably do better outside. We have like a little mini porch outside our front door and also a balcony. So I have lots of options to put plants outside based on what sunlight they need. But anyway, so then I'm centered in between right here. I have these two floating shelves and I will say that compared to some of the other places I've hung these shelves, I've had them in I think three different apartments we've lived in. We've moved quite a bit. And I will say, I think I did the best job in this apartment out of all of those. Like they are very level and just at a very good height. So I think I finally got it down. And I recently got this print. Here's her name right here, Isabella. I can never say her last name, but that's her Instagram handle. She does really cute prints and stickers. And a lot of them are like faith-based stickers and I just love them. So I got this print to put here. This is like an old vintage camera that I got years ago that I use really just for decor. I've never photographed with it. This is a, um, I actually got this the first time I went to Hawaii. I think I was 10 or 11 years old. I just love it. It reminds me of one of my favorite places on the earth. And then I got this more recently from World Market. And actually it's supposed to be like a propagation thing. So I've thought about moving it and keeping these in like a little vase, moving it and using it for propagating because I've started doing more propagating. So we'll see if it actually stays here, but for now, I think it looks really cute there. Okay, and then up here, we just got a candle. We've got this clock. I can't remember where I got that. We got this from Michael's grandma. It's like a little mini um, water can. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love it for just like a little decor. Same thing with these little jars. They're from Michael's grandma and they mean a lot to Michael, so we kept a bunch of them. 
and I also have this print I love. It's from Rifle Paper Company. It's one of my favorite stores of all time. It's like these little dogs, and it's not the cutest thing. And then I also think I got this from like World Market or Target. I'll put obviously a link in the description, but yeah, I love that. And then let's back up just a little bit. If we look over here, I'm gonna show you. Here are, I mean, I guess I already showed you my plants, so we'll skip those, but I got this little macrame thingy more recently from Marshalls. I think I found it for only $20. I was shocked because those are very hard to find um, at that low of a price. So I just got that more recently. You could probably find one similar at your local Marshalls or wherever. And then I have this photo of me, Michael, and Ember. It was like the week after we got her. She's just a little baby. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite pictures of all time of us. So I wanted it nice and big where I could see it. And then we have my desk here. So we have my chair, which I guess I haven't really showed you yet, but this is also pretty new. I got it when we moved a couple of months ago and it's from Target. It's constantly out of stock, but if you turn on the notification to know when it comes back in stock, you can get it. And that's how I got this. It was out of stock when I found it, turn on the notification and bought it when it came back in stock. So I was trying to find a chair that had this like, what is it called? There's like a name for this, but had this kind of backing that was simple, that would be more comfortable, had somewhat of a padding, but wasn't crazy. And this is literally perfect. So love this chair. And then here is a better view of my mouse and my keyboard. These are both Apple mouse and keyboard and um, my laptop. And so I'll literally just open up my laptop and that's how I'll work. So my screen is elevated a little bit since it's not a desktop. And then I'll show you over here. I do have a stack of things I tend to use quite a bit. So I have my iPad and I normally have that plugged in. I unplugged it for now, but there's a bunch of my cords, but I'll show you that in a second. Normally have that plugged in so it's charged. I have a little notebook just in case. Sometimes I just need to write things down. So I use this or this notebook because they're both very cute, but also I love them um, for writing things in and I will use those. I also recently got this little daily um, to-do list planner from Hustle Sanely. Jess is super cool and she has the coolest resources for planning. I haven't quite used it yet. I go back and forth between planning like my weekly or daily plan on paper versus digital. Right now I'm kind of in digital world so I haven't quite I think I used it a couple of times, but I'm not really in the hang of use. I haven't used it too much yet, but it is a super, super awesome resource. Um, and then this actually, I'll have to figure out where this is from if I can, but this is from um, when I was in Hope Taylor's Mastermind. She gifted these to us. So I use these to keep if I have SD cards that I want handy or maybe that I have already used that shouldn't be formatted yet. Um, I will keep them in here until the wedding or the session or the branding session is completely delivered and then I can format these. And then this is where I keep it just some miscellaneous things like have matches to light candles. This is a little lipstick balm from Primally Pure. I think I have it upside down. Um, but it is super nice into lip balm. I love their products so much. I just started using them a few months ago. And then I also have wireless earbuds in case I need them handy. A lot of times I need to come in here and grab them to take Ember on a walk. Obviously I have a little stapler and I have this little gold pencil holder cute gold scissors, all the fun things I keep in here so that I need them if I need to write something. And then I'm gonna show you what's down here. So I actually have this little basket. It's a trash can and it's from Target and they still have them, I believe. They are, it is the cutest thing. I get so many questions about this and it just makes it look very nice but still have a trash can because it's kind of a necessity. And then I also get a lot of questions about this thing. So this is a, um, it's a thing that has a billion different plugins to plug in like a ton of different things at once. And it's a surge protector. So it's great for plugging in your computer. So normally like this is where I have my laptop plugged in. So I plug it into one of these and I'll, whoop, it keeps coming out. <laughs> um, I'll plug it into one of these and I will run this up the side and then over here and plug in my laptop there. There. And so, yeah, so this is where I have that plugged in. I also have a couple of chargers, like for my iPad and my phone. I always keep those both plugged in while I'm working. If I don't, my phone will die, like, towards the end of the day. So I always make sure to plug that in. This is my lamp that's plugged in. But this thing's super handy for um, having a surge
surge protector for your laptop. And my friend actually told me about it. And then I got this little basket, I believe from Target a while ago, that I just stick it in to make it look just a little bit cleaner so there's not just this big black blocky thing under here. And I love that about it. I also wanted to show you just a couple of things that I keep in here pretty often. I just clear it off so that my office is a little bit more tidy, but a lot of times I have a chai latte or Earl Grey latte sitting on here or maybe a cup of water. I keep that on my desk pretty often. And then I also have this adorable fuzzy blanket. I actually can't even see the pattern. Yes, there you go. Um, this fuzzy blanket from TJ Maxx I got recently. And I often keep that just draped over my chair, especially in the winter time, because every winter I'm basically like an icicle and I need all the warmth I can get. And sometimes I even keep a space heater in my office if I need it for some extra extra warmth because I get very cold. If there was anything in this video, you're wondering where in the world I got it, go ahead and head to the description to find a link. And if you're someone who wants to hang out with me more, I actually upload new videos every Tuesday typically. And we talk a lot about social media, content creation, Instagram reels, all of that fun stuff. So if you want to hang around, go ahead and hit subscribe and like this video. It really helps to support my channel for more people to see this video. I know I say that a lot, but I'm truly so grateful for everyone of you that chooses to follow along and it means so so much to me and if you want to see more of these bonus Friday videos I really would like to start incorporating more vlogs and vlogging in general into my YouTube uh, uploading schedule and so I'm thinking about bringing back the Friday videos but making them more personal and more vlog style so if you want to see more of these let me know if you want them to be on a more consistent schedule I want to upload at least one every month is what I am thinking and I have to just kind of go from there and see if I can start uploading every single week too but we'll see what happens but thank you guys so much truly so grateful for all of you and I'll see you in next week's video on Tuesday bye guys